I'm Susan Meredith, the UK Education and Abroad Advisor for the College of Public Health. And I'm going to be your primary contact for all things Education Abroad, or EA for short. As your advisor, I'm here to help you find the right program that fits your goals and helps you throughout the process from applying to going abroad all the way to making sure your credits appear on your UK transcript. I don't work alone though, so throughout this video, you're going to meet some of the other members of the UK EA team. We all play a part in making your journey possible, so they'll jump in from time to time to explain what's wildly possible. Along with EA staff, you'll be working with a ton of different people across campus and around the world. For example, you should chat with your financial aid counselor to discuss using scholarships and aid for your program abroad. And once you've picked out a program, you'll want to get to know on-site staff and faculty members who you'll be working with daily. But before we start this journey together, I want to introduce you to someone not in the EA office, but who will be a major help as you plan your EA experience, Ms. Jennifer Stevens. Hi, I'm Jennifer Stevens, an academic advisor in the College of Public Health. As you start your journey with education abroad, I encourage you to work closely with your academic advisor. In fact, start talking to them now. Your academic advisor can help you figure out which classes must be taken at UK and which credits are more flexible, meaning they can be taken from an education abroad program and transferred in. Your academic advisor can also help you identify other requirements for your degree that could be completed away from UK. Think internships, research projects, and so on. And just as useful, academic advisors can help you plan for when it is the best time to go abroad. Education Abroad offers programs that are as little as one week long that go all the way up to a full academic year. They run over winter break, spring break, summer, and the semesters. So working with your academic advisor to find the right term and year to go abroad will be a key part of your conversation with them. Just be sure to bring it up when you meet with them to start planning. And once you have the list of flexible credits, I can help you find the program that fits your academic, professional, and personal goals. When you've worked out the timing and credit details with your academic advisor, let's chat. You can request an appointment with me online. All you need to do is go to our website, click schedule an appointment, find me, Susan, click on schedule an appointment. And after that, you'll be prompted to log in, select an appointment time, and send me a message with some basic details about what you'd like to meet about. The more details, the better. Right now, all of our advising sessions will be virtual via Zoom. If you have a significant need to meet me in person, just let me know and we can work that all out. Now, that's some pretty basic information, but before we get specific to you as a public health student, we wanna explain some other important elements of education abroad programming. First off, program types. There's faculty directed programs, which give you the opportunity to travel with friends and other UK students as a UK faculty member takes you abroad on a UK course. Most of these are short-term programs, so think winter break, spring break, or over the summer. These programs are great for those that prefer to travel in a group, if you prefer more support from our office and your faculty member, or if you need a specific UK course. Some of these programs go abroad every year, but there are also new and unique options every year too. Then there are partner programs. These programs are offered through third-party organizations who specialize in education abroad programs housing, helping schedule classes, airport pickup, providing in-country support, and all the way to planning some built-in excursions and fun experiences. These programs are available year-round, so you can choose when and how long you want to be abroad. The courses offer very greatly from program to program, as does the price, but these are great options if you want some support and structure, but also want some free time. Another program option would be to go abroad with a UK organization. These programs are run by groups on campus and include an international travel, usually service component. Our organization programs include Shoulder to Shoulder Global, which travels to Ecuador four times each year to provide medical clinical service, as well as Alternative Service Break, which facilitates global and local service projects with local organizations and communities who welcome and rely on global participation. Now, if you're feeling adventurous and ready to plunge headfirst into a one-of-a-kind international experience, an exchange or direct program would be a great fit for you. With these programs, you attend a university in another country for a semester or an academic year, and you take classes alongside local students. 
and in many cases the total cost to participate in a semester-long exchange program is less than the total cost of attendance here at UK. Now depending on the program that you choose you may have access to that university's entire course catalogue or a more focused range of courses but as the exchanges and direct programs coordinator I can help you to find the perfect fit. While both exchange and direct programs give you the opportunity to live like a local, there is a difference with how you pay tuition. With an exchange program, you pay your regular UK tuition and mandatory fees to UK, and you don't pay any tuition to your host university. With a direct program, you pay a program fee, which includes tuition directly to the host institution. And in this case, you pay just one credit of tuition to UK for our EAP 599 course. I know this can all be a bit confusing, so if you're interested in pursuing an exchange or direct program, let me know and we can get into the details. But if you aren't quite ready to go abroad just yet, or you have a family member who would prefer you dip your toes into the water first with something closer to home, let me introduce you to the National Student Exchange Program, NSE for short. This is a domestic exchange program which gives you the opportunity to study away at one of more than 160 universities and colleges across the US, Canada, Puerto Rico, Guam, and the US Virgin Islands. And the best part? Well, you pay your regular UK tuition and mandatory fees to UK. There's no tuition to pay at your NSE host institution. So if exploring another part of this country while earning credit towards your UK degree sounds more appealing than going abroad, contact me and I'll get you started on that path. Interested in a global adventure, but would prefer to stay close to home? Consider one of our virtual global learning opportunities. A budget-friendly, social distancing friendly, virtual program can give you the benefits of an education abroad program, but from the comforts of your own home or dorm room. Our virtual options also give you the most flexibility. You can fit a global remote internship or online course into your UK schedule. So for example, you could take online courses at Massey University in New Zealand as part of your spring semester here at UK. Or you can participate in a remote internship working alongside a marketing firm based in London, England, while you work a summer job in your hometown. Plus, there are no travel expenses involved. So virtual learning opportunities are incredibly affordable and we have scholarships available for you. So there's no excuse not to get globally engaged here at UK. So if you want a customizable adventure that fits into your schedule, helps you gain new skills working or taking classes in a different culture, but still allows you to participate in your favorite wildcat traditions, a virtual program could be a perfect match for you. Ooh, all right. Now that was a lot of information. Six program types, faculty directed, partner, exchange, direct, organization, and virtual. If you've already forgotten some of the details, We've got them listed on our website, so no worries. Switching gears a little, let's talk about the type of experience you can have abroad as a public health student. At UK, we offer five different types of experiences. Study, intern, teach, research, and serve. They're all fairly straightforward, but they can also be mixed to create the perfect package for you. And to take it even a step further, many of these are even available in a virtual online format. Regardless of in-person or virtual format though, as a student in the College of Public Health, faculty directed and partner program with study, intern, and service experience types might be the best for you. But we want this experience to be about you as a whole, not just you as a current student. So let us know if there's a specific experience type that interests you. Okay, that was a lot of information, but now we have the general stuff out of the way. Next up, let's be a bit more specific for you as a student in public health. Your education abroad opportunities are boundless. Explore cobblestone streets and colorful canal houses as you study infectious diseases in the Netherlands. Discover the secrets to the Mediterranean nutrition and the island lifestyle while studying in Cyprus. Or experience the sights, sounds, and flavors of La Dolce Vita, the sweet life in Florence, Italy. And if you're feeling adventurous, why not take your dream even further by spending some time off the beaten track serving in a location like Ecuador, where you'll get to make a visual, measurable impact on local communities. And lucky for you, the College of Public Health has quite a lot of overlap in programs that are offered for other healthcare colleges, like health sciences and nursing. 
so don't be afraid to look at programs that might be labeled for a different college or major than your own. And on top of that, the public health degree path calls for a number of social sciences, natural sciences, public health, and free electives in addition to the UK core. Save some of those electives and take them abroad. If you do that, you'll have a lot of flexibility where you can go and get those credits. The world is yours. If that is a bit overwhelming though, take a look at our major advising pages, or maps for short. These pages are highlighted in a list of programs that are a great fit for your major. Remember, this is only a short list though. So if you don't see something you like, check out our other program searches for something more your speed. And like I said earlier, don't be afraid to look at the map for your minor or for majors similar to your own. But you don't have to wait until you found the perfect program to start financially planning for this experience. At this point in your journey, talk to family, friends, and others who may be open to helping you pay for your program. You can also start looking up scholarship opportunities, some you might even be able to apply to right now. But once you've found the right program, you'll definitely want to apply for our UKEA scholarships. We have a wide range of scholarships and award amounts depending on you and your program. Check out our scholarships, deadlines, and a list of some other funding opportunities in our scholarship database. It's never too early to start planning out the money side of education abroad, so definitely take a look at that. You should also chat with your financial aid advisor and consider ways to do some creative fundraising. No matter what, if you have questions or concerns, just let us know. Ready to take the next step in your education abroad journey? Jump into our virtual fall fair. We'll have students talking about their experiences, a wide variety of faculty members talking about their upcoming UKEA programs, and even some reps from partner program providers and universities who are excited to discuss their programs and locations. Browse the list of what's available and go chat with the experts. Oh, and don't forget as a public health student, I highly recommend you to check out programs from faculty members in public health, health sciences and nursing, as well as our partners from USAC, ISA, API and Arcadia. I know that's a lot of information to take in, but feel free to refer to this video anytime you need some guidance. You can also reach out to us in our general inbox, educationabroad at uky.edu. Enjoy the fair!